Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Credit. Today in this video, we will discuss about the current job market for data science in the UK. I have been getting quite a lot of questions related to this topic and it's a very valid question because if you are coming uh, to UK for your masters, your end goal would be to find a job and gain some experience in the relevant field. So that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. I will take you to Glassdoor website as well and also Office for National Statistics where we will be looking at the number of vacancies we have and uh, whether it is falling or increasing so we will look at all those kind of statistics and i will also give you an idea about what kind of competition you will have to face when you will come here so that you can be mentally and technically prepared for that as i have done job searching for myself twice now actually thrice back when i was in my second semester i applied for some graduate roles i was able to get there then I got uh, another offer in September or October but then uh, because of all these economical reasons and uh, things like that I got laid off. I will make a dedicated video about uh, this whole thing so do uh, stay tuned. So now I was again in the market and I was able to find another opportunity so I have a good idea about how the job market has changed. So yeah, that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. But as always, if you are new here, often subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Credit family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys. And if you want to have one-to-one -one conversation with me, you can book one-to-one -one session by either joining the channel membership or if you are not getting that option to join the channel uh, membership, you can always use a separate link which is provided in the description. So with that being said, let's start our discussion. So first thing first, let's talk about the kind of competition you will have to face. So there are 90 universities for higher education in the UK. This is the data which I got from QS uh, Global World Ranking website. So there can be more than that, but uh, that's the kind of number which I was able to find on that particular website. So each and every university is providing some sort of data analysis or data science course. So you can assume that there are 90 courses and I'm not including those universities which are having more than uh, one course because if you take an example of Queen Mary University of London, they have masters in big data science, masters in data analysis, masters in data science with AI, something like that. So there are universities like that and uh, I also did another some sort of uh, survey or research to find out how many students are there in each batch so from that survey i was able to find that uh, around 146 students on an average are there in each batch so i i, I put a poll on linkedin uh, telegram and also on the youtube community section thank you so much if you participated in that uh, survey so from that i got uh, some value so i took weighted average of that and it came out to be around 140 six students per batch so if i do 146 into 90 assuming that each university is offering just one course we are getting somewhere around 13109 students graduating every year so that is the case for just one year but then there are multiple intakes as well so there are jan intake and uh, there is september intake some universities also have may intake so that also increases the number but just to keep it simple we are going to take only 13,109 students passing every year. So that is the kind of uh, crowd which is coming into the market every year. On top of that, you also know that there has been a lot of layoffs going on recently. So those people are also coming in the market to find a job. So there have been numbers for layoffs, which is around 1,000, 10,000 and more than that. But that is for overall, even in tech layoff, if we talk about us there's been like 10000 layoffs from uh, amazon and uh, meta also released around 11k people recently google has also done that so that's there not up, not to that extent but uh, similar numbers can be found for uh, uk as well so those people are also coming into the market so we can say that around 20k people are in the market to find a job now the question is how many jobs are there in the market at a particular time. So upon my research or rather I will just take you to my screen and I will show you there because that would be much more intuitive to watch. So here we are at the Glassdoor's website where at number 5 we have data scientist job. 
and uh, the median salary is around 49.5k and job satisfaction is 4.2 out of 5 but the important thing to note here is the number of job openings which is just around 1000 and we saw earlier that there are around 20,000 people in the market looking for a job so the kind of competition is quite high now I will also like to show you this page on office for national statistics uh, website where we can see some of the main points like the number of vacancies in November 2022 to January 23 was around 1 million which is a decrease of 76,000 from August to October 22 so again the number of jobs are decreasing and uh, there are some other statistics which you can read if you would like uh, but uh, what I want to do is I want to show you this particular graph here which you can see the number of vacancies which are uh, decreasing quite significantly and it is continuously falling right from the time when uh, Russia Ukraine war started so Russia Ukraine war started in around Feb and uh, from March to May it was at the peak the number of jobs were at the peak and uh, since then it is continuously falling and it is still falling even till this date and the number of jobs which I showed you right here it's not just ID jobs it's like the total vacancies so that's what it shows so as you saw there are number of jobs but then the competition is just too high so there are few things that you can do is actually I made a dedicated video about things that you can do to stand out from the crowd you can watch that i will leave a cart or i will leave a link into the description you can watch that video but there are a few other things that you can do apart from simply applying on linkedin and other job portals or you can participate in various kind of hackathons there are some companies they do come there to see if there is any right kind of talent because some of my batchmates they did get some of the calls and offers by participating in hackathons the next thing is go to meetups and i always talk about this in my live streams as well so do go to meetups try to make good connections try to talk to people try to ask them whether they have some sort of openings in their company or in their friend's company or something like that try to make out those kind of connections and try to show them that you have done these and these kind of work try to have a good uh, github profile try to make a portfolio if you don't know how to make a portfolio i will again leave a card or link into the description you can watch that video and create a portfolio for yourself and uh, apart from that there are a lot of uh, job fairs conducted by universities and some third party uh, agencies as well so do go to those uh, uh, job fairs as well and there also you can probably find some opportunity so you can do these kind of things as well apart from simply applying on online portals and uh, also it is important to have a good resume so i will be making a updated video on resume i have made a video on resume it's been a while so i have updated my personal resume quite a lot since then so i will make a dedicated video on that and uh, that should probably help you so yeah this is all what i want to discuss in, the, in this video i hope you found this video to be helpful if you have anything specific you can always ask me in the comment section and you can also join our telegram group you can join our discord server and uh, also you can connect with me on linkedin if you want to have uh, uh, any sort of uh, discussion so you can always post it in the comment section as well and again uh, both the links will be in the description to have one-to-one -one conversation with me so having said that i will see you in the next video happy learning bye